now you what's up what's going on simple truth i know let's get it on touching the my last day in Singapore, which is really just bittersweet. I mean, I had such a great week here, but it is coming to an end. My last day of eating, I'm thinking noodles. A lot of noodles. First meal, let's start out with some meat pork. This place is bustling. It's like nine o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Look at this. Singaporeans love their food, just like me. This place is a really famous meat pork place. I accidentally ordered three bowls. I try to order two, and then she thinks I ordered three. I guess I'm having three bowls. Now I gotta find a table and reserve a seat. There you go, that's my seat. I think in Singapore, this means more than my back sitting on a chair. Finally got my food after an hour away. Um, not because it was uh, taking a long time. They forgot about my order, but hey, at least I got it. So I got three bowls and a bowl of dumplings. Inside each bowl, there's a couple of different types of meatball. I think this is a fish ball. This may be a pork ball, but look at this. That's a really bouncy fish ball. Oh, look at that. Slices of pork, minced pork, fish tofu, shrimp, egg noodles, chilies sauce on the bottom. This actually smells so, so marvelous. And I have high expectations right now. This is amazing. Oh, the soup is so good too. Oh man, that's a porky delicious soup. I mean, you see all that bits of pork in here? Pork fat floating around? This is a yummy bowl of noodles. Not only is the noodle texture completely al dente, perfectly chewy, it's seasoned remarkably well. I was half expecting this to taste like the Hill Street pork noodle, so this is already way beyond my expectations. You know when I was eating the Hill Street pork noodle and I was saying like it was missing that wow factor? That wow factor is right here. I mean, wow. I just had, I didn't even have the meat yet. I just had the noodles and already it's just full of umami flavor. This thing, it's a little spicy, very saucy. Mm, just full of porky flavor in every single bite of noodles. And that's before you eat the pork. You can also add your own crackling and there's a little bit of sprouts in here as well. But the presence of pork is everywhere in this bowl. Mm. Oh, the pork crackling too. Wow. You can add as much crackling as you want. I think I made a mistake of uh, not filling up my whole bowl with it. This is a great bowl of pork noodles. And the soup. Mmm. Ah. Uh, you know, that's some concentrated, fatty, delicious porky soup. The fish bar is so bouncy and tender. Everything about this. I absolutely love it. Thinking back now, maybe I didn't accidentally order three bowls of noodles. Maybe on some level, I just knew. I always have six cents about food, you know? Mm. Shrimp is good too. I want to add a little vinegar in here just to give it another degree of flavor. Just a little bit, mix it up a little. Mm. A little vinegar was the way to go. I should have got more pork crackling. This is so much better than Hill Street. Like night and day better. Although I waited a long time today, I do feel like it's justified. It is that good. Oh, also I forgot about the dumpling. They look like they're uh, soaked in that nice porky soup as well. So already it's got stuff going on for it. And it's a big size dumpling, huge wrapper. It's a good dumpling. I mean, the skin's a little too much, but it's got really nice flavor. But if you have stomach space to allocate, just focus on this. You're gonna have a really good day. So glad I got so many bowls. <laughs> also, it was funny when I went up to see the lady and I told her that I didn't get my order yet. She asked me how many bowls I ordered. I said three. She's like, no, no. Little does she know the full extent of my love affair with noodles. Oof. All right. Well, 
That was some darn good tasty pork noodles. I think that's like the first good bowl of pork noodles I had in Singapore. It made me really happy. Gotta go to the next noodle place before the lunch rush. A noodle story. It's like a toy story, but a noodle story. It's adorable. Oh my God, it's one of those life-size pen thingies. There we go. Maybe I should close my eyes first. That's my face. That is a surprisingly accurate outline of my body. I can see my big boobs right there. <laughs> oh, here we go. A noodle story. Chow hao mian. This bowl looks like a uh, fried prawn with crispy noodles mummifying it. Strands of chili, scallions, cha shu, a soft boiled soy sauce egg, wontons over noodles. This is definitely the prettiest bowl of noodles I've had in this country so far. Three pretty good sized pieces of cha shu. So this is an $11 bowl of noodles. So, not how much you expect to pay for a bowl of ramen. First of all, look at these noodles. Just covered, drenched in sauce. Look at this. Oh my gosh. These are egg noodles. This tastes like a dry version of wonton noodles. It's a strong umami flavor in the sauce. A bit sweet. Noodles are al dente and snappy like good wonton noodles should be. The chashu is now of the tender variety and the flavor is incredibly rich. Wonton. Mm. That is a great wonton. First of all, look how big it is. The skin is incredibly light. Such a great tasting snappy shrimp filling. Perfectly cooked soft oil egg. Not just a soft boiled egg, a, a soy sauce braised soft boiled egg. Hello, you glorious sunshine. The egg I absolutely love. Soft and creamy, melting ever so well with the noodles. It also comes with a bowl of soup with just the most tender piece of beef floating on top. The soup is beefy. Also a little sour. Ooh, I totally forgot about this crispy sh uh, shrimp thingy. Mm. This might be the best thing in the bowl. The shrimp is wrapped in a fried potato thread. So it basically tastes like a shrimpy hash brown. This was completely unexpected and delicious. The noodles are really flavorful. The umami flavor stands out like a bomb. My only complaint is it's a bit too sweet for me. I know a lot of people might like the sweeter flavor, so definitely come here, try it out on your own and see if you like it or not. But I think I enjoyed a lot of different elements in this bowl of noodles. I love the wonton, I love the crispy uh, prawn. The cha shu was good, the egg was fantastic. The noodle texture was completely on point, but the sweetness really isn't my thing. But that's why you have a noodle day. So, more noodles to come. All right, so far I've had a lot of noodles here in Singapore, but I haven't had like a, like a Chinese type noodle, like a pretty authentic Chinese type noodle yet. And one pretty popular type of noodle here is ban mian. And I'm at a really, supposedly a really good place for that. Here it is, and that's always a great sign. This is Lan Xiang, by the way. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> She made this, this bowl of noodles. This is my ban mian, and I put extra white pepper on here. And there's little anchovies on top, dried fish on top, fried onions, uh, pork, and here is the beautiful noodles. These are basically handmade noodles, and they make all the noodles uh, from scratch at the shop. And it's a very traditional Chinese noodle dish. And this is usually not hand pulled noodles. It's usually cut noodles. So here, there's a soft boiled egg, some veggies, and the noodles look absolutely scrumptious. You can tell this is gonna have a great mouthfeel to it. Oh wow. It's porky with a hint of seafood flavors. It's very thick. It's eggy as well. It's such a rich, deep flavor. This is why you need the white pepper. Oh, that texture. It's everything I thought it would be. So chewy. These noodles are so good. And this thing actually captures a lot of the flavor from the broth. Look at this, that's a long noodle. Oh, ooh, noodle down. Moment of silence for the fallen noodle, please. 
there was a chance to sort of save it, but we had to kind of push the rest overboard. But overall, it's a really, really satisfying bite. It definitely needs some hot oil. This is their hot oil, and they make everything in-house because I see the chili sitting right over there. Oh, with a little spice element to this thing, it makes everything so much better. This is actually way better than I thought. When I saw this, I thought it could potentially be a little flavorless and flat, but apparently the only thing flat here are the flat noodles. Hmm, this is something great to eat on a cold, snowy, or rainy day. Something that Singapore will probably never see. Anywhere else, this would be amazingly cozy comfort dish. Definitely on my recommend list. This is a really interesting vending machine system. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little titties. Whoa. I actually want one now. Look at all this. This is actually really adorable. On my way to eat some laksa. You cannot have a good noodle day in Singapore without some laksa. Last time I was here, I went to Sungay Roll Laksa, which just blew my mind. One of my favorite laksa experiences ever. And this is another really popular laksa place. This is 328 Katong Laksa. It's a franchise that's really popular in Singapore. A lot of locals come here, a lot of tourists come here. And this became really popular because uh, the owner actually beats Gordon Ramsay in a cook-off. So I I'm excited to try this laksa. And just like the last laksa place I went to, you don't need chopsticks. All you need is a spoon because the noodles are all really short. In a good bowl of laksa, you want to be able to eat everything. Noodles, soup, ingredients, all in one spoonful. It's very important. Mix in my chili sauce and tons of noodles in here. I think there's some clams in here as well, seafood, fish cakes, sprouts, of course. Obviously, tons of chili, all soaked in this coconutty, milky broth. And again, spoon is all you need, and you wanna get a nice portion of pretty much everything in this bowl. Oh man, this is so good. I've been eating all day. Pretty much non-stop. Bunch of different dishes and noodles. And one bite of this is like my first bite of the day. I love how it's not overly sweet. The rice noodles, not soggy at all. Still has a good chewy texture. One bite, you really just feel warm all over. This is just the epitome of Singapore comfort food. The perfect balance of ingredients because with laksa, you can't really have any one particular ingredient overshadowing the rest. It has to have a, such a harmonious balance and this 100% achieves that. I mean, to me, this is Singapore. This is like everything I love about Singapore. It's hot, it's comforting, it's creamy. Okay, that didn't make any sense, but the feeling's the same. Mm. Uh, that was deeply satisfying, all the way down to my food-loving soul. All right, dessert time. I know exactly where I want to go for dessert. My friend Ivor told me about this place, non-entree desserts. It's supposed to be one of the best dessert shops in Singapore. Pretty. This has got to be one of the most adorable, too cute to eat desserts I've ever seen. It's a rubber ducky. This is the other dessert. Look at this. This is lava cake. So I think what's going to happen is I, I cut the top and let the chocolate melt onto my ice cream. All right. Oh, it actually went in pretty darn easily. Oh, it cuts very easy. This cake is super soft. And there it is. The chocolate lava. Stripping onto the ice cream. Okay, I think the time for delicate maneuvering is over. It's time to get destructive. Crushing the brownie and the crispy cracker into the ice cream. Scraping some stuff on the bottom. There you go. Hmm. It tastes like a great lava cake should taste. I think the whole experience of uh, watching the chocolate drip down just makes this thing taste better. Now comes the most devastating part. I'm sorry, little ducky. Ugh, this is gonna be harder for me than it is for you, trust me. Guys, look away if you're a fan of Daffy Duck or Donald Duck or all the duck nephews or Scrooge McDuck or any duck in general. This might get a little gruesome. I don't even know where to start. I think the best way is, is just to take off the head. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I did not feel good doing that. 
And this is mango sorbet with pudding with uh, lemongrass bubbles. Sorry about that, guys, but this ain't a Disney movie. That actually tastes pretty good. The pudding is smooth. The sorbet is very, very mango-y. There are little sago pearls in here. So this dish is basically the cutest version of mango sago on the planet. I love this dessert shop. It is really, really fun. Everything is so creative. It actually tastes good too. All in all, super fun conclusion to a yummy noodle day. And I really encourage you guys to, to have like food days yourself. Go for a burger day, a pizza day, noodle day, dumpling day. Whatever foods you love, go have a day celebrating it. Anyway, this is gonna be my last video um, here from Singapore. It's been such an amazing, amazing week. Uh, this is right now, currently right before Chinese New Year. And if you are watching this by now, um, Chinese New Year would have come and gone because I can't really edit when I'm traveling. And then when I get home, there's also like a like pipeline of it is I have to finish. So that's why there is a pretty long delay between when I finish film things and when I publish them. So if you want to know where I am in real time, definitely follow me on my Instagram account right here. And guys, I know this is very, very belated, but happy, happy Lunar New Year. I wish you all happiness and prosperity and love and everything your heart desire in the new year. Because it is the year to pick, so get a little greedy, get a little hungry. Again, as always, all the places I went to is there for you in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.